Hey Super Swing Traders, I hope you're doing good. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand order flow and trade it for income. Okay, let's take a look at CAD Yen. We have price just ranging in this zone. The last time we analyzed this Forex period was exactly a month ago on August 25th. So we have price they had this huge drop down, created this area of supply, and then now it's just, it went down and then now it's just ranging in between these. So I created this zone and ranging into here. So right now it looks like price is on the short side because you could draw this trend line down this area of demand has been tested once and almost two times depending on how you draw it almost three times if you take this whole candle but if you don't then just one time so price is in the downtrend Sub demand zone has been tested once on the weekly it's kind of a mess and it looks complicated but it's really not price is in a downtrend as well this is the area of demand that we saw on the monthly where price retested and went up but currently price is in a downtrend price reached or almost reached depending on how you draw it price almost reached this area of supply and also this blue line acting as a floating resistance um, failed to close above that line and almost touched this zone and then looks like it's wanting to drop again so we have monthly in a downtrend weekly in a downtrend very close to the area of demand where we can't go short but we can short up here that's fine on the daily we have let's see we can remove this trend line so the daily daily is a mess but it looks like this could be a demand zone um, price like I said price failed got really really close to this supply zone but it never did it got really close to the weekly supply zone but and then it dropped but the daily is w located within the weekly supply zone but this zone is a little bit is deeper like for example let me so let's say that if we drew this the start of this zone right here and then I'm gonna sync it to all the charts so you can see that this black dotted line is where the monthly supply zone is and this daily supply zone is located w like a little bit deeper than that inside of it so price usually price will touch the higher time frame and then if the higher time frame is tested or whatnot then it can go deeper or penetrate deeper into the smaller time frame zones so that's why we tend to trade higher time frames because price is more likely to hit the higher time frames the bigger zones and so unless if it's been tested or then price is more likely to go penetrate deeper so that's what we have on the daily we have prices prices moving up but then it is reacting to higher time frame supply zone is dropping again on the four hour is kind of interesting because we have a downtrend but then we have this downtrend but it's been broken but price is overall just in a downtrend it 
did create a level of demand down here so meaning that I could rally some more um, let's see this is not supply this is not supply so we're expecting this to break And plus, since it's been creating new areas of demand, you don't want to go, you don't want to short on this supply zone because it's just so close to the new area of demand that's been created. You want to go higher up. But since the four hour is in an uptrend or it's losing momentum to the downside, we, you don't want to short. You don't want to short. You want to short on higher time frames like. Not even on the daily anymore because the daily is moving up to daily's moving up four hour is moving up so you can go long if this zone supply zone or well, this is not supply but if once this peak breaks and it forms new areas of demand you can go long you can counter trend go long and same with the daily until you reach. Uh, supply up here otherwise to follow the trend the trend is down because our higher time frames monthly and weekly is down with this EMA uh, floating EMA acting as resistance price failed to close above it so we want to go short but there's currently no good opportunities to short right now but we want to be short bias okay so this chart is a little confusing, but I hope you guys understand the big picture. The big picture is monthly is in the downtrend, bearish engulfing candle, but price react price is moving back up to it. Weekly is in a downtrend, created this supply zone right here. Uh, price almost retraced to it, but then it got it was dropped down. Um, Daily is uptrend, or it's not an uptrend, but it's it's shifting momentum. So we don't want to short. We don't want to short. We want to wait until this possibly this zone to be removed. Let's see. Yeah. Want to wait until this zone gets removed at least. A lot of trading in this zone, so it's not very good that it's gonna go up. Then the four hour is just, it's just ranging until right here. This is not supply. I just drew it in here, but this is not supply. This is demand, and price is rallying from there. So with this forex pair, you want to do nothing because there's no clear setups right now. If it goes down to this area of demand, we can look to go look for validation to go long. Otherwise, right now price is ranging. Your two lower time frames is lost momentum to the downside, so it's moving up. But the higher it moves up, the more it's just going to get annihilated on the supply zone. So you can counter trend up or wait until price gets up here and short, short it down. All right, so that is the analysis on CAD Yen. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching.